Hey everybody, thanks for watching the VSO Gun Channel. We have a special guest here today. It is a great day. The ShootSteel.com guys have visited us yet again for Ohio deer gun season. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun out here going after some, uh, some deer. I think we've got a full freezer at this point in time, so we snuck away from the deer stands for a day to do some shooting out here on the range. And you guys brought a uh, cool toy out here to play with. What do you got? Yep, this is a standard AR-15 lower that we converted over uh, to full auto. Uh, we've got the Midwest Industry Suppressor Handguard in here. Got an Aimpoint Red Dot and the uh, Silencer Co. Hybrid Can on there. It's a really, really quiet gun. So we've done a full video on the suppressor with handguards. They built these things so that you could put a suppressor underneath of the handguard and still be able to use the M-Lock attachments without any issue. And uh, I have one of these on my long 300 blackout gun. This is a, what inch barrel is this? This is a nine inch barrel. So it's, it's nice because, I mean, very small, uh, you know, consolidated package. You get the cannon there, you know, with the barrel. It's still very, very small gun. This is a, obviously an SBR as well. Cool, cool. Now, sounds good. Do you have any issues with this, like auto rotating off uh, every once in a while, or? Uh, it comes a little loose, uh, especially with the full auto. Uh, we just make sure that it's, you know, real, real tight on on the shoulder, on the barrel here, and uh, don't haven't really we haven't ran into any baffle strikes or anything like that. We just have to make sure that it stays tight on there. Is this an absolute co-witness Midwest Industries mount too? As a matter of fact, it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was making sure a, that I got my heights right and everything. Yeah, but. it's a QD, QD mount from Midwest Industries, absolute co-witness. Um, they're based on some of the other mounts that are out on the market, uh, right. but they're weight relieved. So that they're, they don't, you know, you buy this little micro dot and then you attach this big hunk of metal on the bottom mm -hmm. of it and you might as well have a full weight optic by that time but right. these ones are weight relief so they're not quite as bad yeah so. they're they're really lightweight you don't i mean we don't even notice that it's on there they've got their own latch system these sites have made it i mean or these uh mounts have made it through tactical response we ran three rifles four rifles actually with just these midwest mounts and they're they're the bees and ease they work out perfectly <laughs> our testing also con concurs with that it's um we've not lost zero on any of them uh, they, they're doing a pretty good job. Now, uh, we've got some of your guys' targets set up out there. We're going to see if we can't mow some of them down. Uh, what kind of ammo? You were shooting pet loads today here, right? Yeah, these are hand loads. Berries, 220 grain bullets, so the, um, the rounds are subsonic, and then just mixed head stamp. Uh, I, have no, I don't remember what type of powder we're using. Cool, cool. Well, we're going to go down there and get lined up, ring some steel, and uh, have a little bit of fun. Sounds good to me. All right, guys, we are going to start off heavy. We've got eight pepper poppers set out there. These are the ones that you guys see us shoot all the time, and they're totally good for 300 blackout, especially the subs. So the first one is at like 15 yards there, and the last one's at about 50. So we're just gonna mow. This is a fun gun, as we said, so we're just gonna go. Ready? Everybody ready? And... So full of wind. Who's up next? I think I got, no, I got it. I, I ran the whole mag. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, mow down these poppers with this 300 blackout. He's got one mag, he's gotta get them all in with the one mag here. I don't think you can do it. You gotta do it. You're not allowed to like burst fire either. Oh. Yeah. Has to be a constant burst. Yep. Cheating. <laughs> Attempt number two. So we're going to try to mow down these poppers with this 300 blackout. <laughs> ah! Oh, you failed. You lost. You, you missed one. So your score is not a perfect eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. You do not get a perfect score. So. Seven out of eight. So whoever gets the lowest score has to buy dinner tonight. Or no, bar tab, bar tab. Bar tab. Bar tab. Bar tab. All right, Evan. You ready to roll? Yep. All right, let's see what the, uh, the company owner here can do on his own targets.
Yeah, I feel like that that didn't have a full magazine. Ooh, that was a good one. I don't one. know what happened there. That huh. one's still sailing. Up? What do you got going on? Yeah, but you'd think there'd be powder in it. Bring it, bring it up here so the camera can see it. What's the, uh, what's the synopsis here? It had, it had no primer, or it, it either had no primer or the primer fell out no in the powder. ammo can at some point in time, and there's no powder in here. So these are. Oh yes, there is powder in here. There is powder. There is powder in here. It's not very much. Sometimes I'm, I'm guessing the primer, or it, there was a loose primer pocket, the primer fell out, and over time, you know, however long we've had this ammo for, has gradually lost some powder here and there. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's what happens, uh, you know, that's one of the things that you have to take into account when you're doing, you know, uh, reloads, you know. You're going to have one every once in a while, Cause unless you're crimping. You're, yeah, we're, you're, we're not doing that. Yeah, I mean that's that's just another step you got to do. And this is converted. This is in our new 300 block of brass. This is brass that we converted. This is the first time we've ever had any issue with it. But I, well, I want to say that this has been reloaded. You know, oh. enough to oh. where we can start. We would probably start retiring these. So yeah, the ammo can's full of powder. Okay, so the primer did fall on the pr pr uh, ammo can. Is the primer? <laughs> yeah, the primer's in the primer's can. Primer's in the can as well. All right. So well, see, there you go. You know, that's... Loose, loose primer pocket on that one. <laughs> it, it, it happens. Well, he he did. So he did it with one less round. You know, so technically, you know, that means that it still counts, right? That means Evans absolved of buying dinner. I guess. So, so. that means only you're left. So if you beat bacon then bacon has to buy bar tab sounds good to me all right, all right cody for all the marbles here big guy all right see what you can do right now bacon's paying for booze so it's all you oh i guess so he yeah definitely cheated definitely cheated so you know what that means that means that you guys have to split the bar tab okay yeah fair so. enough yeah, because you cheated. You're automatically disqualified. Like a whole twenty dollars worth of Bud Light. We had an excellent time with your guys' machine gun today. It's always good when we have machine guns out on the range. Um, and to shoot the pepper poppers with 300 blackout, uh, you know the the sub stuff is always a fun time. Uh, however. You can also shoot the statics with that sort of stuff too, and we're way closer than you guys recommend to shoot the the steel i mean like yeah. yeah this is what are we 15 yards out yeah like, Typ typically we'd recommend what, 50 yards minimum yeah. just to make sure you're not getting any fragmentation back at you but but we run the show around here so we can do whatever the heck we want so we, we want. have a set of hostage set up one in front of the other uh cody's gonna go ahead and run a mag through and then after the fact we'll go back and make and show you that there's no pitting on the targets after uh, we shot it this close. Well, buddy, go ahead and close her out right. All righty. Actually, Cody, it looks to me, bro, like you kept them all on the one plate. We don't even have to have the other plate in, in frame here. But uh, I'll go ahead and just uh, roll this back so people can see. There's I no was impact on really it. really hard not to kill the hostage. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, let me ask you a question. Why on earth would the hostage be behind? Oh. Bro. It's new age hostage taking scenario yeah. type. So they, they put the hostage behind them now yeah. so that they can whack him over the head. You got it. Yeah, that's uh I don't think that works. I think you totally uh, friendly fired on that one. But yeah, but this thing is like totally smooth except for that one pit that's left over from like a keyhole from like a long time ago. But the rest of that, this thing is totally smooth, no pitting. Dude, you could shoot thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds of that at that thing and not have an issue with this 300 blackout subs. Uh, absolutely, yeah, they hold up great, even with these uh, real heavy bullets here. Yeah, th again, those are what grain weight? 220s. 220s, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I mean, you're slinging some weight down there. They're doing about nine? Yeah, around 900 feet per second. They're not moving moving too quick and they they arc really really well like a rainbow like evan was saying yeah they, so if you're shooting 100 yards out you gotta 
you know, shift your point of aim pretty, pretty high. Well, thanks for bringing the toy out here. We had a great time with it. And, uh, you know, if you guys want any information on any of the stuff that you guys saw here today on this gizmo, I'll put a bunch of links in the description, you know, especially, you know, the rails and stuff like that, that, you know, we've been using for a long period of time. Thanks for watching the VSO Gun Channel. We'll see you guys on the next video. I'm going to put this, I'm going to stand here with you and put this. I'm, I'll sneak up and frame and say one egg. You have one chance to do this. All right. Wait, do you guys still have your lapel mic on? Yeah. Yeah. Just stand next to him and put the, the mic up here or something like that. Like put this mic up there? Like, like put, stand there and put the mic, the back of my neck. stand there and put the mic like, please tell me that camera's still rolling. That means I'm gonna have to like stand right behind him like this? Well, take it out of your oh, shirt. Okay. <laughs> and just <laughs> hold it like this. Just creeping. Don't break my mic there. They're fragile. Yeah. What am I saying? No, just yeah, just act like you're. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready? Should I, am I like holding this? Yeah. You can hold it. You can put it in his pocket. It doesn't matter. I, but, 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 I mean, whatever you want to do. You're gonna drop that when you go to fire. Yeah. Uh, Here, I'll put it in your pocket. Technology, like you guys, like. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go.